started here. And the pitcher here today, Jose Suarez. How about a report on him, Chris? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. And the pitch. That's in there, and we're off and running from Anaheim. All in one now. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. The next offering misses. Now two and two. Two strikes. Looking. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. J.D. Martinez stands in. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. In there at the knees, that's strike one. Strike two. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing. Later on in the game, that may be a pitch that he turns on. Ball. Next one just misses. And yeah, the count, one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to... Three. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium. And on the hill in this one, Lance Lynn. Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And a weak ground ball to the left side. On the run, throw to first. One up, one down. Next up, it's the first year shortstop, number nine. There's the strike. Hey. 
ball. And there's one. a ball. I got a ball, one strike. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. Ripped on the ground a second. The throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. That is third. The first baseman, Brandon. Brandon Drury to the plate. First oh, offering God. misses the mark. And he deals. That one missed. Two balls, one strike. Two down. Outside. In the air out to center. Martinez has a beat on it. Makes the play and it's out number three. Angels held in check. We played an inning. No score. Back in Anaheim, stepping in the long ball threat, Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's down and away. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire. But Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners. So we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. On the outside corner, going to count one, one and ball, two. Two strikes. And that's ball outside. Ball, ball two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And up to the plate is Will Smith. First pitch, not close. And the 1 0 misses low. No score here in the second. They say it went. And now it's filled up. That one hammered center field back there. And he brings it in on the warning track. Here's Jason Hayward.
And first offering is fouled off. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on. And he grounds one to the right side. And it's through for a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So, man aboard. Here's Kike Hernandez. Ball one there. At the belt and fires. That one's in there, and it's one and one. Hayward leads off first with two down to the inning. That one misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back-to-back -back singles. He was definitely laid on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. David Peralta at the plate. There's a strike. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Here's a high fly ball out to center. He's got it. And that is out number three. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the power hitting catcher, Logan Ohapi. Lynn back to work. And strike one to the catcher. That pitch clips the outside corner. No balls, two strikes. Righty delivers. Caught him looking for the K. Everything in that at bat was away until the final pitch. Three pitches in a row on the outside part of the plate, and of course, that gets you conditioned to look out there, maybe a little bit out on your toes. So a great call on pitch number four to just hit that inside part of the plate and freeze him for strike three. Here's Joe Adele. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Right-hander kicks deals. Late with the swing there. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. On the ground. Bats up with it. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill some worms while you're at it. Eduardo Escobar. El Caballo up to him.
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. The 0 2. And that one moves his feet. Line of the pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is outside. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Angels are gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. And yeah, the batter now, Miguel Rojas. Here comes a pitch. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. On one. And a strike in there. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. And one and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Why the kick in the one two. Good job to fight that one off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That's to third. Throws across the diamond. One up one down. Up next to the second base. So the lineup flips over. Now it's Mookie Betts. Let off the game with a strikeout. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. In there for strike one. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy oh, come up did. big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that one for one strike two. two strike. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. One down, base is empty. And now it's filled up. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Fly ball down the right field line. This one's got a chance. Home run. A towering shot, and they jump out front. It's 2 nothing. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise.
Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now it's J.D. Martinez. His first at bat was a strikeout. In for a strike, 0-1. And a pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Still only one out here in the inning. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here comes Max Muncy. Struck out swinging his first time. And there's the strike. Next offering is foul back. Oh, and two now. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carrying. And gone. Max Muncy leaves the yard. And they add on. It's 3 nothing. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall, his top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. The batter now will be Will Smith. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Going to one. Oh, one's the count. And now the lefty. Good eye right there. One and one. In there. And so now one and one two. Ball. The pitch. And now two and two. Just misses with that one. Kicks and deals. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. One for one with a single so far. Right down the shoot, strike one. in there and at bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be you just got to hope that you can make contact got him good job at damage control right there but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice it's now three nothing back after this on the show
as we go to the last of the third. Here's the third baseman, number 38. The Halos in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a foul ball. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Pitch misses, and a count two and one. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Here's the 2 2. In the air, right field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one away. Here's David Fletcher. First offering misses badly for ball one. The wind of the pitch. That's ball two. There's the strike. On the ground to first. Oh, great stop. Throw to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Oh, that is such a tough play, but these guys make it look easy. They slow the game down. That diving stop right there, it's only part of the equation. Then you've got to collect yourself, get up, make a good throw, and you got to get it there in time. That's the toughest part, especially when it's got to be on the money. At the play, Brett Phillips. First pitch swinging. Next one misses, and now it's even one and one. Just missed. The two one. And that one wrapped foul. A little bit high. Full count three and two. Well struck right field. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail it here, three nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Enrique Hernandez. Suarez, back to work. And ball one. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And here it comes. Pitch is in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Kicks and fires. Eight, two. I got three and two.
The wind and the pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. David Peralta steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Flight out to center in his first at bat. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Chase Silson preparing to come on if needed. Number 59 getting cranked up as well. The pitch. That's a strike. One ball, one strike. One one now. No, that's down. Hernandez aboard here at first with nobody out. Left field. He's there. He's got it. One away. The bat, number 11. Short time. Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Good contact guy, good defender. the corner strike one wow just a beautiful backdoor slider right there if you've got any chance of hitting that pitch you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either To short, could be two. Flips for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Dodgers three, and the Angels nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Randall Gritchick now. Rendell. The right hander back to work. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there in the mound. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw on to Freeman. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. And here is number nine. Grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Next oh. offering upstairs. Righty to the plate. This one lifted in the air, left field. Peralta towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Drury stands in now and watches strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Ball Next one. pitch is downstairs. Ball 
Drury started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. Eric Summerskill with the call. Next pitch in the dirt. Full count now. Up the middle. Betts whips it to first. And that is the inning. Angels go quietly there. Still down 3-0. Back here at Angel Stadium, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Mookie Betts. The pitch. And that one missing low. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Just off the inside edge. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. Freeman, the next to hit, takes ball one. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's out to center field. Phillips under it. Makes the catch. And there's two away. Now that the center fielder, J.D. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Max Muncy at the dish. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Jose Suarez gives way. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Chase Silson comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. One for two. Strike one. Two on, two outs. One oh. First and second, two down. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Martinez coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. 
That's back to back singles for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So first and second with two outs. Jason Hayward will hit next. In there, and it's 0-1. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two outs. Just missed. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Next pitch is outside. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. That was a moonshot. And they add to their lead. It's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Base is empty with two away. Next is the designated hitter, Enrique Hernandez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and Next offering is fouled back. is upstairs and a count two and one to the right side Drury takes it himself and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame but four runs score in the inning three coming right here on the three run homer it's now seven nothing it's Major League Baseball on the show We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, these Angels, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're no, still no. searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Next pitch three. misses, ball three. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Adele in the box now. No balls and a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. And the right-hander deals. Strike two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. 
Man at first, Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. First oh. offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Yeah. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. The Angels hitless so far in the game. And it's even up. That one is upstairs. On the ground. And foul ball. And he deals. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Number 38 batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is down low, and that is ball one. That one the other way. The tag, and that's the ball game. Well, when you win by seven runs, it's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. This one ends 7-0. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.